So I learned these three rules of, imp of improvising um, a few years ago. The first rule is major has no flat seventh. So that means in C major, B flat is the, f the flattest seventh, which is really technically a minor seventh interval because you're flatting a natural note of the scale, but it's known as the flat seventh. So anyway, that's the only note. So if I stay in this position and just avoid B flat, Okay, so even if I move up uh, to another fret, let's say I go up one fret, I avoid B flat again. And you can keep going up and doing chromatic movement until you hit a B flat and just avoid it until you see a B flat. Um, so let's say it was, uh, that's for major. If it was minor, there's no natural third. So if you're improvising over the minor, you would just avoid E. So you'd play. I may have hit an E there. Um, so only one note. So the point is that that's the only note you, you can't use. So like in major, you can use any other note against C major 7 except B flat. And in minor, you can use any other note against C minor except for the E. And if it's dominant, um, C dominant, then um, you would avoid um, the natural 7th, which would be B. Because that's a major 7th interval. So you would play, just avoid all the Bs. Technically, the point of these three rules is that you can use all 11 other notes to improvise over any of those chords, major, minor, or dominant. So in major, you just avoid the flat seventh, minor, avoid the natural third, and dominant, avoid the natural seventh. And again, you can go anywhere. Say, I'm going to go up to the eighth fret, and I'm going to play C dominant and avoid all the uh, major sevenths, so avoid all the Bs. Right, so I go up like this. There's a B, I'm going to skip it. I'm, I'm sorry, there's the B, I'm going to skip it. And it naturally just kind of avoids it there. So a lot of these cats that are improvising all these crazy notes, they're literally, if you're changing from major to minor, it's just still 11 notes that you can use. It's just that one note changes.